same time, same situation. Muslims are running. Muslims are doing hijra. Some of them are saying, let's move to Canada. Let's move to New Zealand. Let's get out of this country. That thought process was there. People did leave Mecca at that time. So we're living at the same time of Mecca. And guess what? From that minority, the Muslim become the greatest majority. Peace-loving, justice, equality. We have a greatest Khalifa from that time. Without raising sword, without fighting. So we're living at that time. This is the best time for Muslim to practice our deen. You and I won't get to see 2201. This is our century, this is our time. What is the fear? When we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. You are the Lord of all the universes. Not worse, Alameen. We don't know how many galaxies yet have to be discovered. But you know everything. When we say, Allah ala kulli shayin kadeer. Wallah alim bizaati sudur. Allah knows everything. He knows my heartbeat. What is the problem? Problem is not what Allah wants. Problem is what you and I need to do. We need to step up to the plate. We need to take the responsibility. And we need to contribute. And that's the time. And that's the key thing. We have less than 2% of population in America Muslim. But 98% of media coverage is for Muslim. For right reason or wrong reason. It's up to us to change it for right reason. It's up to us to go out there and spread the message. It's up to us to be the best driver, best politician, best doctor, best engineer, best neighbor, best wife, best brother. You know why? Because that's what Quran tells us in Surah Mul. Ahsan amala, not aksar amala. He wants the best of us. So if we get up to give best to this community, this society, the things will change. Your and my job is not to change things. Your and my job is to just convey the message. Convey by the conduct. And that's what we're lacking. And that's what we need to get up and do. This is the best time for us to shine. This is the best time for us to be a good Muslim. We have to have a unity among ourselves. We have to have some sort of action plan. So let me talk about the unity in action. U-N-T-I-Y. So I'm going to do it that mnemonic way so that we will remember. U. Unless it's utterly, completely, for sure haram, stop using word haram. The Muslims say, this is haram, this is haram, this is bidah, this is kumar. Wait a second. The word haram is a loaded term for Muslim. Entire life depends on that. So stop using the word haram. Unless you're sure, then use it. If not, then don't do it. Because Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Araf, Surah number 7, verse number 33, the one of the things that you do commit haram, innama haram, harama, rabbi. One of the things is that when you say it's haram, and Allah didn't say it's haram. So stop doing that. Unity of Muslim Ummah is the most important thing. Unless for sure, 100% you are sure this is haram, then say it's haram. Otherwise, don't say it. Because there are uzr, there are excuses among the deen. That you, how can you make a, how can you be a faqih or mufti to make a decision haram or Allah? Be quiet. Because you using this word haram, the children are picking up. Your neighbor is picking up. Your family is picking up. And there is division among Ummah. Mm -hmm. Things are halal, they made haram. Haram made halal. This is a mix. We need to watch out. And non-violence. Deen is what? It's pure, pristine deen. Not a jihad. Again, we're living in a Makkah period. If jihad means to go out there and fight, then what kital mean? Somebody can please explain to me. So jihad is what? Al-mujahid man jihad al-nafsi. The one who fight against his own desire. That's what the jihad is. So non-violence. We don't need to get up and pick up and fight. Because what Muhammad said, by pushing, shoving through people, you're not strong. Strong one is with control. This is the time for us to control our anger. Yes, we are confused. If we look at the history, some, last time somebody was had a masses full of stadium and saying, yes, white nation, alien is better than this. And somebody have a stadium full of, and got elected through the democratic process. If we put together, this is a very scary picture. We are confused. Yes, we are angry. Yes, we are confused. But that does not give us any right to be violent. That's not our deen is. Our deen is peaceful. When somebody come to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and drag from his, his neck and say, give me my money. What of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Omar, go give him extra money because you scared him. This is the deen, the peace, the love. What we say to each other, assalamu alaikum, peace. Mm -hmm. So our deen is non-violent because we live in Makkah period. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to Makkah Muslim at that time? We're living exact same scenario. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Furqan, Surah number 25, verse number 52. وَجَاهِدُوا بِهِ جَهَادٍ kabira. Fight with them, بِهِ, with, with this, with what? Grenade, bomb, F-16, no. He said, بِهِ is the Qur'an. 
give them the message of Quran, that's what your job is. This is the jihad, this is the contribution, this is the struggle of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi companion. Jahid bihi jihad and kabira. Biggest jihad, do with the book, convey them the book and leave them rest. That's what we need to do right now. So non-violence, that's what Urdin expect us, that's what we need to do. UN. I ignore the differences. We have tons of differences. And the Quran says in Surah Ma'ila, verse number 48, Allah created us in one ummah. He made a difference. Why? First, I will So we can compete in goodness. Brother, you're from Egypt. You're from Pakistan. You're from Syria. MashaAllah, it's great. Litarafu. For the introduction. But we made it a part of fitna. We made it fitna. Difference of opinion is part and parcel of this deen. Difference of opinion is a hujjat, is a dalil, is a nas from the Quran. It is in the Quran. It is in Muhammad's life. It is Khulfair Ashdin's life. It's Ayman's life, Mujtadeen. And there is a terminology entire. Deen is based on that. One of the terminology is called Ijtihad, the difference of opinion and revival interpretation. That's part of our deen. You say, oh, where's the difference of opinion in the Quran? Read Quran Surah Saf, I believe. And what Sulaiman al-Islam and Dawood al-Islam, father and son, Ambiya, they both had the same facts. They both made two different opinions. One said this, one said that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, yeah, we gave them ilm and hikmah. Different opinions in the Quran. Father and son and Ambiya, two different opinions. Different opinions in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa life. Remember Banu Qurayza, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said two groups. Pray asr there, don't pray. One of them prayed, one group didn't pray. What did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? I'm Muhammad, I'm walking, talking Quran. You're in Jahannam. I told you. No. Both are good. What you call that in deen istilah, we call it ahadith taqreeri. This is a part of our deen, it's part of our faith. Difference of opinion among Khulfa al-Ashidin. Very first battle happened about Badr. What happened to Abu Bakr and Omar? About Asiran, about the prisoner of war. Difference of opinion. The ayah came from Quran, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Difference of opinion. Why we are Ayma Arba? There are so many Ayma before this Ayma Arba. But at least now we have established Ayma Arba. We are four. Why four? When we want Allah, when we want Muhammad, وسلم, when we are one Quran, when we are one Kaaba, when we are one Ummah, how can we have four Ayma? Difference of opinion. So part of difference of opinion is has to be there so long we have aql and fame and frasad in the sama wal basar wal fawad that we have aql and wisdom inside we will have a difference of opinion that has to be there but you need to ignore for the unity of Muslim Ummah yes brother you lead Salat you lead this cause you can be board of director Alhamdulillah that's what our deen is supposed to be unity that's what we need when they pull a hijab out in Minnesota they didn't ask you Shia then ask you, the Ubandi, Barelvi, when they told the Uber driver, get out of this country, your days are numbered. Then they say, oh brother, you're from Iran, you're Shia, you're Imam Jafri, you're Jafri, Asna Ashri, you're the Ubandi, you're Ali Malki, humbly, did they? So what's wrong with you and I? That we have a division among ourselves. They do not consider us two different entities. They consider us one, but you and I have issues, brother. Now, you didn't wiggle your finger. There's haram, there's bidah, there's shirk, there's kufr, there's Allahu Akbar. What is going on? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ashadu Allah, ilaha illallah, is what? That's the only door. Somebody accept the Islam here today. We'll be brother, Allah, repeat, repeat after me. Ashadu Allah, ilaha illallah. Ashadu anna Muhammad abduhu wa rasuluh. Takbir, takbir. Welcome to family. Brother, you accepted Islam. Really? Really? We all going to say, Ashadu Allah, ilaha illallah. Ashadu anna Muhammad abduhu wa rasuluh in tashfad. Depending on your school of thought and interpretation, some will wiggle, some will raise your finger. We say that in the masjid, we all will do that, but we don't respect each other. The newcomer brother is part of family. What are we doing? We all are part of family. This is the only DNA acceptable in Quran and acceptable in, in, in our Islam. It's Ashadu la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammad and Abdul Rasulu. That supersedes your family DNA. Let me give you an example why. Because in Badr, Umar anhu, Abu Bakr had to take sword against their own nephew and brother. So biological DNA does not supersede. Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad al abduhu wa rasooluh sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That does supersede. So ignore the differences. Come to the unity. T. Tolerance. We don't have tolerance at all. But this is haram. Awesub Allah. How did he say that? Astaghfirullah. My Sheikh said this. My Imam said this. Every single Imam and Sheikh can be and will be wrong. Only Sheikh is right is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Imam Malik said this is the only Sheikh who is right. And Muhammad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? Qulu uh, uh, hadith, there is ayah in Surah Nahal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if I want to 
take you because of your small misdeed, not there won't be not a single Daba creature on earth, which means every single one of us will make a mistake. And Prophet Sallallahu said authentic hadith in Tirmzi, Kulubani Alam Khattawana Khayru Khattawana Tawabin, Tawabun, every single one of us will make a mistake, best is one who repent. So there is no Shaykh right. Allah bless them, all those who passed away. Ameen, Summa Ameen. Allah guide those who are alive. And Allah make sadaqah jariyah those who are coming. Alhamdulillah, every single Muslim goes to Jannah. Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing. Why not? Open your chest, open your heart. Tolerance, we have to have a tolerance. We don't. We don't. We say something first and say, oh, oh, really? We need to have a tolerance. What does Quran tell us? Imam Shafi said, Quran is a beautiful book, but I need only one uh, surah. It's more than enough for me. Which is what? He said, this, only this surah is more than enough for me to spend my life, for guidance. What does surah say? Not only iman, but you have to do something, action. We're going to do that, but guess what? When you take action, it's going to be painful. Your wife won't like it. Your brother won't like it. Your husband won't like it. Stay focused on the Quran. But the boss will be It's going to be tough. And that's what we have. We have to have a tolerance. Unity. U-N-I-T-Y. Why? You. You. At the end of day. La tazaru wizratan wizra ukhra. Yawma yafru al-marhu bin abi yawakhi yawma yidu sabi wani. Nobody will shoulder nobody's burden. It's you individually standing in front of Allah. Election happened. People have been persecuted. People are leaving country. People are confused. Chaotic situation. Whatever it is. What did you do? You will stand in front of Allah. I will stand in front of Allah. And Quran says, Surah Basa, Surah number 80, verse number 34. Where are you going to run from that day when your own brother will look at you and run away? Your own spouse will look at you and run away. Your own child will look at you and run away. Your own mother and father will look at you and run away. That's the day we need to focus. Unity. All your life that you know, you think, brother, this is haram. I'm not going to pray behind him. I don't want this. But maybe, maybe... At the day when you die, you might be buried right next to each other. Maybe because of whatever reason, whatever deed, Allah is Ghafur Rahim, He Allah puts, forgive both of you and put on a on the same floor of Jannah. How far your hatred gonna go? How far are you gonna hate? So when you're alive, put your head together. When you're buried, you might be in the same graveyard. So try to put yourself together. The unity is important thing nowadays. And that's what we need to do. Whatever will happen, Alhamdulillah, Allah knows best. Allah has to do whatever he has to do. Your my job is not to change the election and elect somebody, not to elect somebody. Do like, hey, it's not our job. Our job is to give our best effort. Alhamdulillah. Read first eight ayah of Quran. Khatam Allah ala kulubin. You give your da'wah and after that Allah has sealed their heart. It's up to Allah. When we believe in Allah, our job is to unite our family. And that's what we need to do. What the Quran say? Every Khatib recites that. I just did too. It's Allah has created you from one soul. So we all have one father. Adam alayhi salam. So yes, sibling rivalry. Yes, banging door each other. Yes, running away from young kids. They fight. They run away from each other. They close the door, say, don't talk to me. Yes, that's part of. But when your father calls for dinner, yes, you have to be at the dinner. When you call for the unity of family, yes, you're there. So when we are one father for humanity, we all are one at the end of day. And that's for the entire humanity. If I ask start what? Yeah, you're Nas, oh people. But I'm talking about Muslim Ummah. We are one. Let's be one. So what are we supposed to do? We have to have action. A-C-T-I-O-N. Action. Action. Act upon whatever you know. You know more than enough to go to heaven or hell. Yes, learning more is important because the deen started with Iqra, read more. Read what? Hadith and Quran at that time wasn't there. Read whatever benefit the humanity. So, but anyway, action. A. Act upon whatever you already know. You know more than enough to go to Jannah, Jahannam. Cheating, backbiting, stealing, riba, all those things we know. Stop at individual level. Individually, you are the one who's going to stand in front of Allah. You already know what to do. So action is what? Act upon whatever you already know. T. Teach others by conduct. What did Muhammad Sassam do? What did Hassan and Hussain Rajallah Ta'ala Muhammad Muhammad did? Elderly person making wuzu, missing that. He said, you know what? We're going to make wuzu. Can you see us? By conduct. You do it. You don't need to open your mouth. Let other people watch who you are. 
Muslims are picked on it. Muslims get out of there. They're going to clean the entire neighborhood this next Thursday. Okay, great. How many of us want to our local police station and firefighters association and donate some money there? How many of us even went to a school district meeting? Did we? When we say, brother, oh, stuff, oh, they hate us. Oh, brother, they don't love us. Really? How much love do you have? How many of us over know our neighbor? Do we? When Muhammad says something, you cannot be moment if your neighbor is hungry. Do we know what they have? What they're going to eat? Small gesture goes a long way. And get involved. Teach by conduct. Open the door for somebody. Go and clean their grass. If you see somebody out in the parking lot, they're trying to put some stuff in grocery. Say, come on. Is it okay? Can I help you? It goes a long way. People will remember your face because you do not look like John Smith and Susie. You look different. They will remember your face. And that goes a long way. That's what Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did. People spit on Ali's face when he was doing wrestling. And he spit on his face from underneath. He got up and said, this is it. So why? You didn't win yet. He said, no, 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 no. Up till this point, I was fighting for Allah. Because you said, wrestle with me, I'll accept Islam. But when you spit on my face, I got angry. I backed off. I said, you know what? If I kill him, that will be not for Allah. This is our deen. The person said, Alhamdulillah, I want to accept Islam. This is our deen, tolerance. Teach by conduct. Don't open your mouth. Why don't you open your mouth? Surah Kaaf, Surah number 50, verse number 8. The moment you open your mouth, it's been recorded. Thoughts are not recorded. So, I don't have much time left. So, we have quite a few things to do. Last thing I just want to mention. Help and support the existing organizations. And this must need a lot of help. This must need a help. Let me tell you this. There is only one currency that is going to work in Day of Judgment. That is what? Deeds. Good deeds. Sadaqah Jariya. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there are only three things will sustain you after your death. One is what? Charity. Sadaqah Jariya. One is that your Allah makes dua for you. And one is the ilmu yuntama bihi, knowledge that you spread and benefit other people. This must is in dire need of money. You know why? Because there are a couple of inspectors came by and they said, if you have one or two more storms, the roof is going to get ripped off. <coughs> roof. The estimate is somewhere between at least minimum 85,000 plus. Let's donate. That's what we need. Because this hadith fits in. If you donate, people come here and they pray. Said the Kaija, yes, must. Your Allah goes in this school and they will make dua for you. Said the Kaija, The knowledge being spread in this masjid. Said the Kaija, This is the best money you'll invest. You must do that. Masjid is in dire situation of money. They're trying to do fundraising. You hate the chairman of board of director. You hate the brother who's running the show. You hate the sister who doesn't like. You shouldn't hate anybody, but let's say, yes, we do. Sometimes not, not like each other. But you are giving money for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what matters. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said one day, Aisha radiallahu anha, for the nahar for Qurban, Aisha, is there anything left? Aisha radiallahu anha said, yes, one shoulder of goat is left. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, no, 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 everything is left except this. But when you send there, that's what it is. So this is the time. Last Wednesday, I met a client in my office. Today is his funeral, heart attack. So we don't know when we're going to go. So try to invest in. This is the best investment, it's the best time. These massages are a hub of community, this is the center. People are coming and asking, give us our book, give us our Quran, who you are, where should we go? In our mind, must say, that's what happened, people are trying to track us. And we want to go to the institution, we want to come and observe you, how you pray. This Allah is bringing them to us. We're supposed to be going out there, but Allah is bringing them to us. We need to be united. We have to put our house in order. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us wisdom and vision and strength. So A, C, T, I, O, and we'll talk inshallah next. A is act upon whatever you know. T is the teach by conduct, care. C is care about the other people, all right? And I is that we're not individual responsibilities more. That's what individually do whatever you can for the organization or for the community. And O, only Allah is the one who will give Jannah and Jahannam stuff. Stop giving those tickets. It's not your problem. And last N is never be disappointed. Allah knows what He wants to do. There's hikmah. La taqnatum rahmatullahi. Never be disappointed. Our job is unity in action. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us wisdom, vision, and strength to act upon this ayah and to come back and closer and love each other for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muhammad wa Muhammad. Sorry, can you please move in this corner? We have enough space, but we don't have that corner. Jazakallah khair. We have enough space in this field. Please. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Salatu Salaam ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen, Khatam al-Nabiyyin, wa rahmatullah alameen, wa ala alihi tawahirin, amma ba'd.
ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وفي عذاب النار ربنا أزلمنا أنفسنا ولم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنا كنا من الخاسرين اللهم إنا سألوك من الخير كله ونعوذ بك من شر كله أقيم السلاة Uh, brother, this is a very humble request to all of my brother. When you come inside the masjid, please try not to smoke. The most hateful uh, smell the Prophet was tobacco smell. Please do not smoke before you come, at least one hour. If you quit smoking, that's good for you.
قل هو الله أحد الله السمر لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله استغفر الله استغفر الله السلام عليكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم very uh, passionate and beautiful khutbah. Uh, next Saturday, uh, inshallah, December 3rd, we'll have a fundraiser. Please uh, try to put it on your calendar and join in. Uh, if you're not able to come in, you can still donate, inshallah. Uh, we need to get this done as soon as possible. Uh, also, today's uh, khatib uh, is uh, uh, Dr. Ijaz uh, Sabir. He's an attorney. Uh, he has a practice in Philadelphia. And he's a, he's a very helpful uh, brother. If you have any uh, situations where you might need help, uh, he usually is here last Juma of every odd month. So this was November. Next time he's going to be here, inshallah, would be January, last uh, fourth week of January. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu come here for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, let me tell you this, there are lots of, lots of phone calls going out there from FBI, there are robo calls going on from different organizations. Emerge USA was doing survey, then there's a call going on from Muslim Registry, there's a lot of confusion out there. So I would strongly suggest that please do not participate in any survey at this time. There was two surveys, one was done by Muslim organization, one was done by non-Muslim organization. So there was overlap. So we do not want to participate in any survey. FBI is not allowed to come into your house. Let me say, there is not a single federal agent allowed to come inside your house if you don't want them to come in. So we want to be polite. If somebody comes there, you can tell them, I'm sorry, sir, in your car, my lawyer will call you. Please do not let them come, these people inside, because they are looking through for other people and could be a mistaken ID and you can be in trouble for no, for no reason. So therefore, we want to do things within the law. The law says we have right to remain silent. We don't have to participate. Thank you, buddy. We don't want to participate. Take the card and give to Brother Naveed. He has my information. I'll be more than happy. Any single Muslim have any legal issue regarding the election, regarding the FBI harassment, regarding the CIA, regarding the airport, I'm doing free work. Let me say it again. Any person has any issues, Please contact, we are doing free work. We want to make sure that we stand by our rights. 
for the law-abiding citizen and this is all right. Stand by, stand up firmly for your own right, rights. A lot of miscommunication is out there. So nobody has to come to your house. Please pay attention to that. It's very important. Zakallah khair, As-salamu alaykum.